the best part is about this one. The only thing that was ever wrong with it was that Mike and Jack over there. So, hey, for 27 years, I think it's pretty darn good. Hell yeah, that's a keeper right there, man. I wouldn't get rid of it. They made the radios good back then, and, uh, you know, they made them to last, and, uh, you know, they're... Hey, waving a hand out there, Blue Mule. My, my, my. Now, when I bought it, I bought it. I said I wanted the best radio you got today. So that's what I did. I got it, and it's been the best received, too. Yes, yes. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Oh, shoot, yeah, they don't... From what I heard, they don't even make them that good anymore because they're mass-producing them, and, um... You know, even like the 148, what I'm talking on, they're not, they're not. Ah, no kind of contact on Bluegill. Man, he must have his ears plugged anyway. Skippy, standing by. Hey, Skippy, what's up? The top of the day, TMS is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Thank you. 
we are creepy crawling up out of this rascal. Weekend time, time to go about doing all the things that you want to do. 606, I get the fat back house mate. <laughs> My friend on that west coast, your friend, 606 out here in Arkansas, just out of Memphis, Tennessee. Let's go.
one in in the swamp. Your train is rocking the mail. One, two, three. Train, if I'm not mistaken, there is a stop in Riverside, Southern Cal. Back what? Yeah, I guess there ain't no stops in train series. Yeah, hey, 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 I guess train don't have no stops in Riverside, Southern Cal. Boogie. No, you are on that. I'll tell you, hold on. I got a package on that duck fucking flight, man. But what's going to happen, Mayweather's going to win. He's going to be the field. But that man, Holy Mayweather, is an arrogant, stuck up, but uh, no, he's stuck up so far from there. So he, I hope he gets knocked out, man. He, uh, he, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he is. He just rubs me the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? But old Manny Pacquiao, man, he seems like a good dude. But uh, you really don't know. You, uh, you know what I'm saying? You really don't know just what the media uh, makes you see. But I have to do one more time. If they want time.
think South Alabama Wildman Blue Gill. We're trying to put a wave in there if I can. I guess I can't make it around that South Alabama wild man. Hey,
have a super fireman. Tell all the good time gang. Got that way, Mr. Ace 15. I said, la di da to everybody. Better catch this double L. Mr. Ace 15, I'll be right back, sir. Yesterday when I was at work driving and um, I got little crumbs on the on the floor, you know. 
outside the truck and I always clean it out afterwards after I'm done, you know, so it's clean for the next person. And um, I was stripping out, you could see like the food grease, the, the oil on the floor, man, from the chips. I'm just like, oh my God, that's got to be bad for me. Yeah, that's why they're out there, to be bad for you. Look at your gut. I don't got any conditions coming out of these smoky hills, and I'm standing by. Yeah, I can't pour it, yeah. Shoot, I don't think uh, any of those potato chips like Lay's and all that, they're really good for you, uh, especially, you know, the cooked in oil. Well, they had to do something about that, but they did something about it. But, yeah, the soaking of the oil is not good. I even tried frying, I, well, I didn't try, I did. I fried my catfish in just a little bit in the skillet with that coconut oil. My gosh, it was good. Oh, my God, that sounds good. I love catfish, too, man. I haven't had it in a while. And I, I see it in the store every once in a while, you know, um, you know. but uh, what I've really been craving, what I haven't seen in years that my dad used to fix when I was younger, uh, is the, the shark steaks, and uh, they used to taste like halibut, and uh, there used to be some pretty good thick steaks, man, that stuff was good, man, but uh, I, don't know, I was wondering, do you know where to get any shark steaks? Yep, we go down to Newport Beach in the mornings, they have that little place down there that uh, sells fish. Yeah, I heard about that years ago, shit, you know, I haven't been to the beach in a long time, uh, yeah, you know what, next time I'm down there in that area, I, uh, yeah, I need to stop by there and uh, yeah, get it fresh, that's the way to get it. Yeah, you can do better than that. You can drive over here to that uh, Lucky Star uh, fish food over there in La Sierra. Everything that he has in there is fresh. Uh, I'm trying to think where that's at, Lucky Star on La Sierra. What's the nearest cross street? Uh, Minier and the library. If you're at the library, look to your left. It's in that shopping center at the end down there. You know what I'm talking about? Right across from uh, Bank of America. Oh, okay, you know, I never paid no attention to that shopping center. I've been to a couple little places in there, but um, yeah, I bank at that Bank of America. Yeah, just go in there and go all the way down to the end. Yeah, he has fresh fish in there all the time. Yeah, I'll have to go check that out. And I see shark and everything in there too, so it isn't like it's not there because it is and it's all fresh. It's uh, super fresh every day. Yeah, Tim Porter, that sounds good. I'll definitely check that out. Not as flash frozen, then he puts it out every day. He doesn't put anything back that's not good. Yeah, 10 4. Yeah, it shoots like um, you go to like some of the super Walmarts and you buy like shrimp that's frozen. Only God knows how long it's been frozen. And uh, I mean, sure, with a cocktail sauce kind of you know gives it some flavor and it's all right, but uh, it just it doesn't seem to taste as good as fresh, you know. Where's the X land in the in the map? It's wherever your signal gets to you, bluegill back wide. Oh shoot, we ought to be here in Australia coming in uh, when that sun starts going down tonight. Uh, well, just might. Oh, speaking of that, if you put up a good sized beam, uh, you know, not like one that has a 36 foot boom, but uh, do, you, do you need a permit for a beam antenna? That I 
I can't tell you that because I don't have a bean. Uh, my bean antenna has been going for years. I've only used the solar antenna out here. Yeah, Jim, boy, it gets pretty windy over here, man, but, uh, yeah, I kind of want, I've been wanting to do that, and I've been getting stuff together to do that, and, um, and then I got to thinking, I seen a post on Facebook about Riverside, uh, recalling somebody's, uh, permit for one, but that one, it was like 30.